keep that on because if you're outside, I want you to catch it on there. I can't really see up because of the light, but there's no one in Clubhouse, Mark. Who the hell was that? Welcome back to the channel. This week, we find ourselves in the South Lake District discovering the delights of the historic market town of Kendall. Join us as we explore what this beautiful town has to offer and find out why we got the knock late at night. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're now in the South Lakes of Cumbria. Kendall to be precise. Yeah, the home of the famous Kendall Mint Quick cake, cake, which I'm going to try and find some in a bit. Is that all you can think of? Famous food? Well, that's what we used to use when they went up Hills Mountaineering years ago. Then it give them energy like as a... Sugar boost. Uh, like as, as like a safety thing. So Safety? What do you mean? Like a, a ration, you know, if you get stranded at the top of a big I mountain. I thought it was to give you an energy boost so you can get up yeah. the mountain. Right. Anyway, we're in Kendall. Um, like I say, South Lakes, so mm -hmm. we are eight or nine miles from Windermere mm -hmm. and 19 miles from Lancaster. Oh, and look Get over there. Me. The River Kent. The River Kent what runs through here and it's quite well known for flooding as well. Just the other side of the bridge, there is some reinforcement work that's been carried out to the bank. No doubt during the winter when it's been in flood, the rivers come down on the road of the bank, so they're they building Oh, you love up. a good flood, don't you? But it is well known where we're parked at the cricket club. Uh, that's been underwater numerous times, but it is quite well known. So it's drizzling and miserable, isn't it? But nonetheless, it's just started raining. So this time we are stopping at the Kendall Pavilion Cricket Club. Now, we had a problem last night. We got a big knocking, problem. Didn't we? we got the knock, but not a good knock. About half past eleven last mm. night, wasn't it? And it weren't even on the normal door, it was on where, right where I was sat, right outside of my head, it was a knock on the door. Yeah, but you're it? saying a knock mark, it was a banging. It was someone giving it this on the bus, so on the driver's side. So we both went like that and looked at each other. Half past 11, mm, then it did it again. Mm. And then we had a voice, voice saying, hello. Mm. Yeah. This is what happened. Keep that on because if you're outside, I want you to catch it on there. I can't really see up because of the light, but there's no one in Clubhouse, Mark. Who the hell was that? I think he's gone. I just went to the door and he was just stood there, but he was well on his way. He was proper drunk. Mm. And he just said to me, have you paid for your parking? It's a honesty box, isn't it? And but what time is it? Half eleven, isn't it? Half past eleven. So oh God, is it really? we've just been looking through the window for a few minutes. He, he he went to the van next door and he was knocking on the yeah, mad thing is he knocked on the driver's he's door, didn't he? Knocking on the driver's door. <laughs> going hello so, which has really scared me and really needs I don't yeah. like things like that. Yeah. And lo and behold, our outside cameras weren't working. But no, I've I've gone to the door and he's just stood there, young lad, I'd say about 20, 26 year old. Mm. Have you paid for your parking? Oh, oh good. Have a good night. So, if you do come to this park up in Kendall at the Cricket Club, don't be offering don't money answer. to people. Yeah, and don't answer your door. Yeah, well, you can do and just tell them to do one. But uh, I, I guess he does it all the time, this guy, and he goes around and people say, oh, I haven't actually yet. I'll give it you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's yeah, what they do. If you've, so. if you've stayed here before, please let us know. If someone's not on you, give them money. That's got my heart beating, that, because yeah. that were really scary. Woody never bothered, did he? He's in his Woody bed there. So. Woody's having a bad night tonight. So we, we're going to go to bed anyway now. We'll put the lights back on and get sorted. Of... sleep. Not good, is it? So, yeah, what we got was we opened the door and I got a man asking me if we had paid our camp fees. What it is, it's an honesty box. So mm -hmm. it's £10 a night for motorhomes and £5 for vans. Or you can go into the club and pay over the bar. We mm -hmm. put it in the honesty box like we always do. Mm -hmm. Half past 11, he decides he wants to come around and check. Let's just say he'd had quite a few beers. I think it was someone trying it on there. I reckon they'd probably do it all the time. Go to, go to the pub and then come back. And people are likely going to say, oh, there you go. There's my money. So be warned, if you stop at this site it's perfectly quiet during the night it is safe but just be warned we have we have we have stayed there before haven't we? Mm. numerous towns we've never had this yeah. it seems like some kind of scam that's going mm. on because he banged on next door's van and the one next to as well but luckily they, they weren't in mm. now we do have some friends said they've they've just told us they are stopping on there as well so i'm going to see if i can catch them before we leave today because they got the knock as well 
so we're gonna go up to Kendall now and see what we can see it's Have a beautiful around, town though. very it's, it's a market town I believe so plenty of charity shops for me what and are you I, looking for I'm looking for fish and chip shop I want a deep fried Mars bar and a deep fried Kendall mint cake for afters yeah it looks like sign of the times again look at this beautiful old pub all shut down what a shame that would make a cracking got beer garden wouldn't it Mark yeah I know it I remember last time we came here, probably nearly two years ago, it was closed then, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it's never then. reopened. We're seeing it a lot. The more that we travel around the UK, we're seeing a lot of pubs closed. Well, there's issues, isn't there? When buildings like this get flooded. <gasps> Wait a minute, look at this. This is the front of the pub. I'll just come around the corner. Oh, what a shame. Oh, yeah, menu's still on. £4. What? Cheap, I thought he said four to two pounds for soup then. Cheap? It was cheap, it's not anymore. It's, it's not open. curry, 8 95 That'd be about 16 quid now. Battered fish, 9 95 Yeah. Look at this. Oh, there's any tables. What a shame. Why are you gonna book one for your dinner? Yeah, so I was saying it's it, it gets flooded and then the insurance pay out and after that they sort of say right that's enough we're not gonna insure it anymore. Right. So we had it being put on stilts with no insurance so we won't be able to operate. that mean? That means they don't do anything deep fat fried, it's all chocolate, chocolate and chocolate. Your favourites. The famous 1657 chocolate house. It's closed. Oh it's closed. It's a tea room mark. Oh what a shame. Look at that building there. It's a bit like the old town isn't it this part? Reminds me of York. A little bit, isn't it? But there's a shambles here, I think. I um, a little shambles, I believe. This takes you into the main part of Kendall, by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. So we saw a sign saying, um, designer clothing for dogs. We've just got here. And it's closed, know, it's look Saturday. Look at all closing there. It's called the Dog House. Come on, hanging up, man. Oh, would I? You've well missed out there, sunshine. So Woody's supporting his northern, northerners on tour camo waistcoat today. <laughs> but yeah, sorry Woods, it's shut. Can't believe that on a Saturday. We'll have to come back. Oh yeah, there's all sorts in there for the dog. I can't believe what we've just found. No. Too much. <laughs> It's January, Mark. I know, it's uh, 331 days until Christmas. <laughs> Are we counting down already? How does that make you feel? Sick. Let's have a look at this food stall here now. Never mind looking at Christmas, come on. Mark, what have you seen? Look at these rolls here, look. Are they scones? Scones, cheese oh, or fruit scones. Oh, they look gorgeous, they're a pound. Can I get a fruit and a cheese, please? I can put my air fryer and then put some butter on it while it's warm. Air fryer? Air fryer, yeah. What are you talking about air frying it's gone? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. just, to, just to warm it's up. It's a quick way of warming up. We're in a motor on the seat, so it's a quick way than putting an oven on it. Oven that takes ages. Yeah. 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 And microwaves are go horrible with microwaves. Yeah. Yeah. It just sounds no. a bit alienish. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got a scones, I'm on the fruit one, you're on the cheese. Cheese scone? I don't even know if I've had it with cheese scone before, but what I'm going to do is put it in the air fryer, warm it up, and then get some butter on it. Oh, and talking of air fryers. Talking of air fryers. If you've got an air fryer, I get in, I'm getting loads of questions about our air fryer, because I've not really done much in the van with it yet. But if you want to any ideas for your air fryer, please head over to Butler's Empire. It's a channel that we follow. 
uh, Sharon and Martin, absolutely fantastic people. Really easy to follow and Sharon has some fantastic recipes for air fryers. Yeah, and they're all on uh, low carb diets at the minute, so mm. check it out, they're having kebabs and stuff, which are good for you, so I'm all but for But on that. the back catalogue, there's air fryer recipes, slow cooker recipes. Oh. So head over to Butler's Empire and check out their channel. We've just located this lovely inn. It's called Ye Old Fleece Inn, and it's the oldest inn in Kendall. A lot of inns there, isn't there? <laughs> but it is beautiful. It is nice, isn't Let's it? Let's see what it's okay. dated to. Look at that. Do you know something, Lisa? <laughs> what? This was built two years after you were born. 1654. So funny. Here's the information here. Kendall's oldest surviving inn. Did you find that plaque? No. You can take dogs in though, they do allow oh, dogs. Oh yeah, don't they? they allow dogs. Woody feet, muddy paws and woody tyres it says so. Barkers, dog walkers, all welcome. First class waiting room, whatever that is. <laughs> So we've just come across this and we thought it were a pub. Welcome to Shakespeare. Mark's just down there with Woody. But it's actually the Shakespeare Theatre, Kendall's first purpose-built theatre, 1829. And it's just right at the end of there, at the top of the yard. All these little nooks and crannies we're finding little jewels, aren't we? Yeah, look at what it says up there. What's Dogs welcome as long as they drink. I tell you what, we haven't seen yet any Chinese takeaways, have we? Actually, no, we haven't. We've seen loads of Indians, absolutely loads yeah, of Indians. Yeah, loads of like, curry uh, takeaways, isn't yeah. there? A few kebab shops, the kebab we had last night, there's shops up there. Yeah, I got a chicken, he got a donna. But at the minute, we obviously don't like Chinese takeaway in Kendall. Tell us, if you've been here before, have you found a Chinese takeaway? Because we haven't seen one. Actually, we saw a tar, but he doesn't do tar. No, it's not Chinese. No. It? So yeah, we'll have to keep his eye out because we haven't seen anything that resembles one. Yay! We'll have to move here. A few moments later. We won't be moving to Kendall. Spot too soon. Chicken fried rice. Where is it? Six pound fifty. Not bad. Competitive, that, Not isn't bad. it? That's all right, isn't it? I can't believe it was just there as we're coming down the street. What's it called, Mark? Silver Mountain. But the good thing is, it's miles away from where we're stopping and it'd be freezing cold that time we got it back to the van. No delivery service either, but it is an homemade recipe. So, so that's the only Chinese that we can find in Kendall, if you're ever coming here and you want one. Right, we're going to have to have a look down here, we've just found this little alleyway. Look at this, it's so old. It's like it's untouched, isn't it, that? Wow, look at the windows on the floor. Can you imagine coming down here at the horse? Oh my god. I mean, they've fixed some of the path here, they've block paved it and stuff, but Jesus. Steep, innit? Yeah, and it's right low there, I'm trying to say. You wouldn't get the mode drawn through there, would you? <laughs> no, you won't get much through there. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's just off the main road, isn't it? Who's that? Woody's got a new mate. Who's that one? Oh, who's this? <laughs> who's that? Pinching the sheep's water. Right, we've found somewhere that does Kendall mint cake, boys. Us. So, obviously, he's rushed in. Gotta see what he can find. Let's see what he comes out with. Oh, he's found something. He won't like it. I know he won't like it. Here he is. What have you got? Kendall. Chocolate. Chocolate covered Kendall mint cake. George Romney, Lisa. Who's George Romney? Celebrated painter and portraits. So. Maybe it's just a coincidence that they do Romney's Kendall mint cake. Or he got bored and he just thought he'd make some mint cake. <laughs> so we've just seen a sign for Kendall Castle. 
never knew Kendall had a castle mark. Again, it's one of these little narrow alleyways. Is it just there or is it miles away? I don't know, it goes right down. Oh, yeah. It's not much of a castle, it's low, isn't it? Look at that above your head, though. Oh, yeah. That's when they used to hike things up into it, into air to put into buildings. It'd be like a big hoist up there. Yeah, it might have been a mill or something, eh? I think it was a Horse mill. and cart with a pole up here, wasn't it? Look yeah. Look how they put little pin marks in the stone to give it grip. Oh yeah? On that sloping thing. Can you see? That'll probably yeah. give it, years ago, give grip to the wheels. So yeah, Kendall has a castle. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm. Let's go in and see what we can find Well, that was short lived Disappointing Not doing food today What is Saturday. it? On a Saturday what is it with everywhere that we go, there's a problem? A lovely pub, no food. Yeah, that were gorgeous in there, that were really nice. They're only doing drinks today, so next place. So I've ordered veg soup and a cheese and onion toaster. And Woody's on another little treat as well. And I've got my favourite lot, spam fritters. Go enjoy this. Well, as you can see, that was delicious. Yeah. The cottage kitchen in Kendall. Get yourself here. Homemade food. Absolutely beautiful. Spam fritters to die for, but they are a special, so they're not always available. No. Even though Mark thought it's that they were called 5 p.m. fritters. I thought they were 5 p.m. I thought it was special saying 5 p.m. fritters and chips. I thought, mm. And then you should have seen his face when he realised it said spam. Oh, my goodness. Mm. But, yeah, really, really nice really recommend it and i think it's on finkel street right what is designer clothes shops open finally so we're going to go and have a look at the dog house we've seen a real tree coat haven't we for him yeah it looks like a tree <laughs> we'll probably lose him if he runs off now that's woody sorted isn't it woody's got a new coat look at this everybody yeah this is really smart this is from the dog house in, in kendall, kendall. Look at that, it's a real tree. Woody's going camo. Look, look at that. Oops. I've dropped the receipt. Yeah. Look at that. He's got a hood and everything. In it. And he's tried it on, he's got a chance to try it on and everything, hasn't he? I'll show you in him later. He's, he's got front legs, hasn't it? Yeah. Draw strings, everything. It's better than what I've got. Don't forget your receipt. I won't do. He has tried it on and he loves it. Yeah. He told me so. Yeah, if, if you're in Kendall and <laughs> you've got pets and you like to buy coats and stuff for them, like us, come to the doghouse. And they do grooming as well. So as we've said, Kendall is full of these green plaques. You normally get blue plaques on houses, don't you? But these green plaques are everywhere. It'd take you more than a day to go around and read them all and look into them all, but they're all yeah. full of history. They're normally always down again a lot, this. When you come to Kendall, look out for these green plaques because they're really informative, aren't yeah. they? This one's called 25 Finkel Street, but something's happened down here as well. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a Finkel. <laughs> So I'm just on the bridge in Kendall and I've seen this place before and I know someone will know who watches our channel. What is this building famous for? It is currently the Cooperative Funeral Parlour, but I'm sure it's been something else before that. Is it, what's the, it used to be Castle Corn Mill? Castle Corn Mill? There's a thing on down there, plaque about this bridge all got swept away in floods and stuff. This used one? To transport to Cas Castle Corn Mill or something, unless it's something else. but. Is it a funeral care home? Funeral, yeah, yeah. Let us know what it used to be before it was a co-op funeral care.
had to have a sit down absolutely shattered i think we've done every street in kendall haven't we yeah yeah we've been everywhere haven't we today still bitter though isn't it it's still really really cold can't wait for february to come and then march and then come bring on summer i know when these great days like this which it is it's not not good long. but at least it's not raining no it's not raining so mark's battering my head he wants to try this kendall mint cake so i'm gonna let him just do it now because the one less thing to carry around into mm -hmm. right romney's here when in kendall local delicacy i believe what but do you do with it eat it can't even get into it <laughs> Mm. Is it dark chocolate as well? It can't even break it. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, it smells like after eight. Mm. Look at what are you looking at? It's a big after eight. Mm. Not bad. Mm. It does taste like after eight. Exactly. Um, it doesn't normally come with chocolate on. You normally just get it as a white slab. From what I can remember, they were quite thick. Mm. Big like, tablets of um, Kendall Mint Cake. Mm. But that ain't bad, that actually. It's quite surprising. Is it surprise you? It's like refreshing, isn't it, after your spam fritters? Mm. Oh, I hope you've got that kettle on because I'm absolutely freezing. Woody's got his new coat on, eh? Oh, let's have a look. Come on, call him over. Woody. Yeah. Come on. Look at that. Oh, wow. The real tree with a hood, look. What a snazzy bit of kit that is. Look at him with toggles on at back. Yeah, so the lady said it's waterproof, windproof, can be washed in the machine. I think he likes it. It's got little legs in it as well. Let's see where you hood up. <laughs> there you go, he's well amused. <laughs> you like it? Right, so we're back in the van. Thank God my feet are killing me. I'm absolutely tired. I know, I could do with five minutes. We must have walked all the way around. We must have done about 20 mile walking today. I don't think there's a part of Kendall we haven't seen. Probably is, but it just feels like that. Anyway, we just wanted to let you know before we sign off this week, we stopped at the Kendall Pavilion Cricket Club. Um, it is normally a very nice place to stop, but at the moment they are building some flats right opposite well right next to it should i yeah, say back onto the car park doesn't it yeah so we got here at half four yesterday yeah and they were hammering and banging away weren't they till eight o'clock last night half past eight at the latest and they were at in the it dark it, it in the dark more, yeah, yeah very strange and the mix was running everything wasn't mm, it and they were at it again from seven half past seven this morning uh, we've come back this afternoon they've gone so they've probably worked early morning till dinner time and then finished now i don't know if they're going to be working again tomorrow but the thing is if you're coming any day bar sunday i think you're going to get building work at the minute i think the i looked on some reviews on search for site and it, 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 it was built in april last year um so they're getting up soon be 12 months in on and probably being pushed for contract to get it finished aren't they yeah because it's nowhere near it looks like half built at the minute but our point is unless you're wanting to get up at the crack of dawn and not getting a lot of sleep early on in the night time i wouldn't come here at the moment so that's what i want to let you know but we're going to finish there we're now moving on to our next destination not going to tell you quite where that is you will find out in the next vlog not a million miles away from here i'll give you a hint it's still in the lake district so don't forget to comment like and subscribe to our videos and thank you to all the new subscribers we've had already this year but for now we will see you on the next one